What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today's adventure is going to take it back to when I was about 12 years old and where this channel actually began. We're taking it back to the real OG videos where I just used to come up the creek, me and a GoPro. I bought a fishing rod with me, one lure, and we're going to be staying up here for 24 hours doing some survival fishing. I haven't eaten anything today, and if I don't catch anything to eat, I'm not gonna be eating at all. So we've got a pretty cool adventure coming up. The only lure that I'm bringing is this one that imitates a shrimp. This is what these catfish and Australian bass are feeding on in this creek. A massive shout out to Shimano for sending me rods to use in my videos. I've got the seven foot, one to four kilo Shimano Jewel matched up with the 2,500 twin power. And mate, you'll see how good it is using it in these little creeks to catch these fish today. But what we're gonna do is try to get a fish first up in the morning. I don't think I'm gonna be eating it straight away. We've still got a lot of ground to cover, a lot of creeks to walk, and who knows what other animals we'll find along the way. But this pool, just down the corner right here, has a lot of catfish in it. So let's see if we can get one straight away. Now sadly, I have to wear shoes for this first part of the video because I've cut my feet open here on lots of metal before, but we're getting these gross things off later on when we get down to a bit of a better area in the creek system. So at this time of the year, what these eeltail catfish are doing is they're actually picking up a bunch of little pebbles in their mouths and forming a nest with them. And that's what these round circular rock formations are in the water. And they will guard these nests. I reckon if I walked across this little area right here, I'd probably get attacked by catfish. Just down there, oh, there's two. I wanna get this one. Are you serious, water dragon? <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. A water dragon just dropped out of the tree onto my catfish. <laughs> that one is definitely not gonna bite anymore. But see this? They're attacking each other. Here's a big caddy, sitting just down here. This one's gonna eat. Feel it. Yep, there we go. First caddy of the day. Yes. Oh, loosen the drag off. I knew that one was going to eat. Look, there's another one chasing it around as well. Oh, yes. Wasn't sure if this was going to work, but here we are. First caddy of the day. There's so many more all the way down there. We need to get down and land him. Down into the water I go. Come on, mate. I feel like that's all I needed is a higher bank that I could drop it right on their face. Because unless you do that, they're not going to be eating. All right, mate. Oh, look at you. We're not going to eat you, don't worry. There we go. But yeah, that right there is an eeltail catfish. They're scattered all through these creek systems and it's a bit hard to get them to bite today, but it's good to see that they're starting to come on the chew. And since we're doing this survival fishing video, we're gonna be cooking up one of these catfish later. But I reckon we're gonna be able to get a couple more. So I'm gonna let this caddy go, try to get some more fish and then cook one up later on on the bank. And we're sleeping up here tonight. I haven't bought anything to sleep in, so it'd be nice to find a little river bank somewhere. But yes, yeah, skinny water catfish fishing brings me back to old times. First fish of the day, how good. Let's see if we can get another one straight away. Oh. There's two big caddies right there. Gonna take a bit of convincing for this dude to eat it, but eat the food. Yep, there we go. There we go. He eventually smoked it. And this is the big one. This is the biggest one in here. There we go. Yes. <laughs> this is actually so fun catching these little caddies on lures as well. All right. <laughs> oh, right in the corner of the mouth. So in this creek, until we get way further down, this is pretty much the only big species of fish that we catch. But as we get further down it, towards the bigger system, there's actually big Australian bass in there. So 
We'll hopefully be able to get some of them as well. Wow! You're a big caddy. We're not gonna eat you either. All right. Over here, mate. Wow! Take a look at the size of that big fella. That is so cool. I reckon, because this one was on a nest, it could even have eggs, so we're definitely gonna let it go. We're looking for something a lot smaller that we're gonna cook up. But yeah, there we go. Big catfish out of this little creek system. It's so cool coming back down here. I haven't been down here for years doing this kind of stuff, but if you watch my channel from when I started, when I was about 12 years old, I have been up this creek hundreds, if not thousands of times over the years and doing the exact same thing, coming down here with just a rod, finding heaps of animals, catching fish like this and letting them go. So yeah, we're gonna get this big girl back in the water, keep walking this creek and see what else we can find. All right, see ya. Whoa. All right, we need to go down to another pool now. I think all it was is we just needed to find a better place to fish. If you've got these big banks, you can actually drop the lure right on their face. And the creek continues like this the whole way down, so we're gonna keep walking it. And welcome to the land of a thousand caddies. You can see their nests everywhere through this little stretch. There, 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 dinner, dinner, dinner. So many catfish along here. I look down, there's literally one right at my feet and he's eating as well. You watch, he's gonna love this. Oh, he took it. I'm definitely gonna catch this dude. See, this is what the catfish do. They'll get it in their mouth and then they'll spit it out straight away and normally it'll die and they'll circle around and eat it. There we go. It was only a matter of time. Oh, he's pulling some string. Yes, all the way out there. Back in here, mate. Oh, I don't want to eat any of them. <laughs> One of them's gonna be my dinner. Just caught him off this little nest down here. So ideally, I don't want to take one that's sitting on a nest. In a survival situation, obviously you take what you can get, but I love seeing caddies in this creek and it proves how healthy the population is because they're everywhere. There we go. Oh, he got off. Wasn't meant to be. I need to find one that's not sitting on a nest that we can eat. But by doing this, it narrows it down to about four catfish in the whole creek that I can eat. There's like a thousand catfish on nests here. So I've just found this stick that's positioned out over this creek system. And I don't think the universe would have put it here if it didn't want me to jump on a fish off of it. We're gonna wait for my dinner to swim underneath me and hopefully grab it. Oh, catty there and there. You come back, you come back. There's no game plan to this. missed him, but you miss 100% of the shots that you take. I mean, solid effort, considering there's no real classes you can go to that teaches you how to jump on a catfish out of a tree. But I think we're gonna need a stick to catch you one on a fishing rod. The only way we're gonna catch this caddy is if we're up there. So that's where I'm headed. All right, shall we? He's not gonna know where he's getting annoyed from. Look up, mate. Oh, yep, yeah. I got one. I got a caddy in the tree. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, is that a caddy? I was just randomly working it down there. Yes, caddy, from this nest down here. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're in an ideal place right here to land this catfish. 
wonder how high that actually is. Probably too high to drop, eh? This is gonna be interesting. Down. Here. All right. And where is he? He got me under the bank. There we go. Another caddy. Out of the tree. <laughs> that is awesome. There we go. Yes. Oh, nearly got me under the bank over there. <laughs> that was a pretty solid run. <laughs> there we go. Look, there's another caddy checking out what's going on. Oh, look, he's attacking him. Oh, are you kidding me? All right. I think this is going to be my dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner to be exact. Where's my shrimp gone, mate? You ate it, did you? Oh, you're a big catfish. You're a massive catfish. Well, we are feeding well tonight. Yes. All right, let's find a place to make a little fire. Oh, you're a nice colored caddy. There you go. Chill in there for now, mate. I never like killing these animals, even a fish. They're all the same, we're all equal, but I do need to eat. It's like if I get too close to the water up in North Queensland and the crocodile ate me, I'm not gonna be angry at the crocodile for that, but very grateful for this fish that we can now eat dinner. In such a beautiful place out here in the rainforest. It's about three o'clock at the moment. I'm gonna make a fire, cook up this fish, and then go find somewhere to set up camp and sleep for the night. All right, we'll make a little fire pit right there. Two. You as well. Come with me, guys. One. Oh, this is gonna be such a cool little afternoon. Catch him own fish down the creek again. Look at that fireplace. Ah, oh, close enough. So we've just collected enough firewood to cook up this fish and what we're gonna do now is go down the creek, take the guts out of this catfish, start this fire and cook it up. Okay. Oh, you're a beautiful catfish. Thank you for your food, mate. I won't film this part, but I'm gonna kill the catfish instantly and then yeah, we'll cook them up. Thank you for your food, mate. Thank you so much. Now I believe as humans, we have the right to hunt for our own food, but that doesn't mean you should be disrespectful to the animal. But yeah, let's cook him up. Take the guts out of this caddy. He's eating a leaf. So, all of his guts that are going back out into the river now will feed shrimp, which will grow bigger, feed more catfish. So it all goes back into the ecosystem. And this guy is gonna feed me. That's a pretty cool shot. Are you kidding me? Look what just fell down on me. Big feather. I reckon we'll chuck it at the top of the fire. Just like that. Yes. 
There we go. All right, fire's cooking. Got the caddy down here, ready to chuck in when it dies down. But yeah, mate, we're sitting in a pretty good place here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is chuck this big caddy on. How good is that? So we're just gonna throw him in the side now so he gets to cook up while we still have all these sticks in there. There you go, dude. Probably leave him for about 20 minutes, I'd say. Flip him over, do the other side. This is when I feel the most connected to this land. Coming out here, and putting myself in a situation that we used to live in way back when, when we used to be hunters and gatherers out here catching our own food. It is a bit different now with fishing rods and stuff, but still the same idea and still so cool. Let's flip them over. No crazy recipes, just fish, fire, eat. One day out here, I'm already turning into a caveman. Fish, fire, eat. Mm. Doesn't that look disgusting? I've eaten caddies so many times before. I'm used to it. All right. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Gordon Ramsay would be shocked. True. I know it looks terrible, but beneath the charcoal, there's actually a good feed and it doesn't taste too bad. It's not too bad. Definitely not as good as the barramundi that we cooked in the last video, but a good feed nevertheless. And I haven't eaten anything all day, so it'll give me a bit of energy to get through the night. So we've caught a heap of fish, caught myself some dinner. Now all we need to focus on is finding a place to sleep tonight. I feel like that's pretty much a day for me. I did bring a torch with me, so we'll go for a night walk later on and see if we can find anything. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish off this fish on the riverbank, chill down here till it gets dark. All right, so the sun's just setting at the moment and this is where we're gonna be sleeping for tonight. I found a little sandy bank, but what we're gonna do now is I've brought a torch out with me. So we're gonna go for a night walk and see if we can find any animals after dark. Hopefully a couple snakes, it's really humid, so I'm sure they'll be coming out. But yeah, it's been such a cool day so far. We're gonna be sleeping here later. We might even build a little fire. Let's start walking and see what we can find. First snake of the night. So that right there, just climbing up this bank, is a little coastal carpet python. Beautiful species of non-venomous snake that we have here in Australia. So we're looking for something a bit more deadly than this guy right here. We're looking for some highly venomous species, but it's cool to see that this is what I'm gonna be sleeping with out here under the stars. Little carpet python. All right, we'll keep going. That's a bit better. That's what we're looking for. This is a highly venomous species of snake known as the small-eyed snake. And mate, they're all out tonight. They're coming out. It's very humid, which is what's bringing these snakes out. I would not want to get bitten by this dude all the way out here. I reckon he's just gonna crawl off into there. And see, if he was in there, you would walk right past him. Wouldn't even know there's a highly venomous snake sitting in there. All right, so I've just set my torch and my camera up. And would you take a look at this species down in front of me right here. This is the third snake and the third different species we found tonight. And this is the mildly venomous golden crown snake. Such a beautiful species, one of my favorite. He's looking at me right now. Take a look at him, but this is a big snake. Look at him kind of standing up in that little defensive posture. He could see my foot moving before. He's like, I know something's there. Just walking back to camp and we found yet again, another golden crown snake. The snakes are out tonight. If I had more torch power, I'd keep going, but we gotta leave and be, head back to camp and go to sleep. 
All right, and on the way back to camp, we found what we were looking for. Take a look at this guy right here. So this is the Bandy Bandy, or Hoop Snake. And you can see why they call him the Hoop Snake. Look at him getting a bit defensive. This is so cool. My torch is running out of battery. I've just had to set it both up on the ground right now. But mate, how cool is that? Bandy Bandy out in the bush. We have found so many cool species of snakes and I'm absolutely stoked with that. I can't believe I didn't bring my big camera on this mission. I'd be getting such cool footage, but I feel like it's pretty special just coming out here with the GoPro, doing all of this. And now we get to go back to camp, sleep there for the night, wake up in the morning. I've got to run back to camp right now. My torch is literally nearly out of battery. And we've still got about a kilometer to go. But yeah, little Bandy Bandy out here in the bush, mate. That is awesome.